found today. Welcome to Life with Belson Gardening Edition. I ended up selling the trailer. So as you know, this was all dirt and I want to try to grow grass. So I planted some grass here with little bumps and this and that and the other thing. Been filling in the boulevard where it keeps getting washed away. Got some bricks there to make the water go around it. And put in a park bench over here too. If anybody's down at the fairgrounds or whatnot and they want to have a seat, there you go. Check that out. Frig, I edged all the edging yesterday because it was nice out today. It's a little cooler. Look at all the birds in the bird feeders. Hey, okay. got my own little friggin' oasis here. As you can see, I got a lot more room back there because the trailer's gone. Don't worry, I didn't forget about the bathroom downstairs. We got some plumbers coming to do that. I'm gonna pay somebody to do the plumbing, not the cement out and stuff like that. Because I don't want to do that part. I can, but I don't want to. So better off just to pay someone in, come in, knock the floor out, put the plumbing in, and re-cement it, and done. So, I've been concentrating out in the garden. So right in here, I got myself last year a piece of 15 by 15 foot pond liner and my fish up front are getting big. So I think I'm going to put the pond in. I bought some, I picked up some barrels and we're, I'm going to make my homemade filters for my pond, which I normally do from the old power jolt containers. So we got to cut the lid off them, clean them out and then start building a filter. I've done it before, so I'll show you that if you want to see it. But yeah, I'm going to put like a fountain up here and then it's going to come down and it's going to be right in here right around here this area so then when you're in the gazebo watching tv stand here and go ah, hey. but i'll tell you one thing i am going to have to build this ground up here because it's really low so all the dirt from the pond hole is going to have to go over here most of it up there is good because we want it to go up there because that's where the waterfall is going to be so, I do have this laser level thing. I've never used a laser level thing. Well, I have, but not this type. This is old school. So I got it given to me. So I'm meaning to check to see how out of level this ground really is. So let's pull this thing out and see if it even works. And of course, it just started raining as I want to do this. Why wouldn't it? So we're not going to get very far here. Oh, look at it. It comes with safety glasses. Oh, what dick. So this goes in here, like so, nice. And then obviously this goes on the tripod. Thanks Ivan, you know who you are bud, for getting me hooked up with this bad boy. So now that we did that, we'll be able to put her here, like so, where the pond's gonna be, which is right about here. So I'll level it up. Hold on, I'm going the right way. Probably not. I think I'm going the wrong way, Jim. Still going the wrong way, Jim. This ground is way out of levelness. Holy, what the hell? Well, me. Well, I'll just do this. I'll level this, like so. And then I'll be able to shoot a beam. So once that's level, I'll be able to put a spike here. Hey, level. And then we'll turn it, level it. I said level it learn how to work it and then I'll be able to put a spike here holy and as you see I got about a foot difference there which ain't bad so I'll basically put spikes up and mark levelness and then I can start leveling the ground off as I dig the hole I gotta save room for the excavator getting here though so I'll put spikes here and here this thing might come in handy Jim caution don't stick in your eyeball 10-4 Call it a hot shot, Captain. Hey, nothing like a good hot shot. Oh, I bet you I did this wrong. What does this do? Oh, it stops it from turning. Nice. Oh, okay, so this does adjust it, but not much. So basically, you want to come all the way down. Ah, oh, yeah. And then you level this. I said you level this. There you go. And then you can fine tweak this. So we want it to come up there you go look at that tighten her up I'm starting to wonder if that's not level why is it saying that's not level now well that's weird so what's level the level or that so now when i turn this it should stay level right let's see how do you turn it captain oh yeah this one oh yeah pretty much 
So that's pretty decent. All right, so you don't go by this level because this level's cocked. So that's gonna come in handy for building the pond right there. Thanks, Ivan, for that thing. Decent, bud. Friggin' right you are. That's awesome. Right on. I love these. These are freaking awesome. So that's not a bad little kit right there. Let me tell you what. For the price. Price is right, bitch. Friggin' right it is. Oh. These are directors, so they send the beam upwards. They're little magnets. Well, I'll be dipped. Friggin' right I'll be dipped. Last time I did a pond, when I was on woodland, I had to eyeball it and use a piece of wood with a level and go around. But with that leveler, it's gonna be a lot easier. I can dig a hole and actually just drop it in a little bit too, right? Once I get uh, the pond hole dug, I don't even have to put spikes in actually. I'll just dig the hole, set it in there, and then just turn it. And as I turn it, I'll be able to see where I need to build it up. Because I wanna put a step in as well for the rock. So that will actually be great for that too. Put it right in the middle of the pond hole and freaking turn it and you dig it as you go. That's gonna be awesome. That's gonna work really good for what I need. Friggin' right it is. I can't wait. There you go. So that's gonna be coming up real shortly. Within the next couple of weeks, maybe two to three weeks, I'm gonna bring that excavator home and start digging a hole. So that should be pretty fun. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna watch. Leave me a comment down below if you wanna come along for the ride. Cause I'll take you. I know that Sean's gonna be coming over cause he's good at working them excavators and he make my job a lot quicker I think. I still wanna play with it of course, but you know, I think he's more experienced when it comes to them things, but we'll have to see. So anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good Easter. Happy Easter, by the way. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification. And we'll see you on the next one.